Hey guys, the objective of today's video is to go through an example covering the lateral capacity of a pile as well as the lateral displacement of a pile. So here we have a concrete pile which has been driven into sand and there's a horizontal load applied to the top of the pile. The pile is 10 meters long and has a diameter of 0.5 meters and the properties of the soil and pile are given here. Part A of the, this example wants us to determine the ultimate horizontal capacity of the pile HU, assuming a yield moment of 2,500 kilonew kilonewton meters. Part B wants us to determine the horizontal displacement if a horizontal load of 500 kilonewtons is applied. And we can also assume that the pile section has a second moment of inertia IP of 0 0.004 meters to the power of 4. Alright, so to start off, we have a free head pile driven into sand. So we need to first consider failure mode 1. So let's find the ratio L on D. That's 10 divided by 0 0.5, which gives us 20. And E on D, that's the height of the horizontal force above the ground surface divided by the length of the pile. And because the horizontal force is applied at ground surface, E on L is equal to 0. So if we go to this chart here, let's find 20, E on L is 0, if we project horizontally across, this term is equal to 200. So HU divided by KP gamma D squared is equal to 200, where KP is equal to tan squared 45 plus phi on 2. Now if we go back here, our friction angle is 28 degrees. So this works out to be 4.204. So that should be 200. So now we can multiply these terms to the other side. HU is equal to 200 times KP gamma D squared. That's 200 times 4.204 .204 times our unit weight, which is 18. Times our diameter squared, which is 0 0.5. And this works out to be 1,891.8 kilonewtons. Let's now look at mode 2. So if we go to our chart, we need to determine this ratio here. So MY divided by KP, gamma D to the power of 4, that's equal to 2500 divided by 4.204 times 18, times 0 0.5 to the power of 4. This works out to be 528.6. And E on D is equal to 0. So in this chart we're using E on D. The first chart was using e, e on L, so make sure you don't mix this up. So if you find 500 and 28, that's roughly, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, around here. Project upwards to E on D is equal to 0. That gives us a value of roughly 100 for this ratio here. So HU on KP gamma D cubed. That's equal to 100. 
So finally we can find HU. So that's 100 times 4.204 times 18 times 0 0.5 to the power 3. This gives us a value of 945.9 kilonewtons. So our horizontal capacity is equal to the minimum of these two values here. 1891.8 and 945.9 so therefore the horizontal capacity of our pile is 945.9 kilonewton so in part B we need to now determine the horizontal displacement so H it's equal to 500 kilonewtons and the second moment of area of the pile is 0 0.004 meters to the power of 4 so the equation for displacement for a free head pile in cohesionless soil it's given by this equation here so H on ESL multiplied by an I factor pH plus M over ES L squared multiplied by an I factor IPM and now because there's no moment applied to the top of the pile this term we don't have to worry about so first we need to determine this value KR which is equal to EP IP over ES L to the power 4. So we go back up here. EP and L ES are 25,100 respectively. So that's 25,000 times 0 0.004 over 100 times and the length of the pile is 10 meters to the power of 4 and this works out to be 10 to the power of negative 4 now I haven't needed to convert, convert any of these units because if you do a dimensional analysis so it's megapascals meters to the power of 4 megapascals meters to the power of 4. It all cancels out. Next we need to find the ratio of length to the diameter. That's 10 over, D, uh, 10 over 0 0.5 which gives us 20. Now if we go to this table over here, KR is 10 to the power of negative 4 and our L on D is 20 which is in between 10 and 25. And we're trying to find this factor IPH here. So we're going to have to interpolate between this value and this value. So IPH is equal to 8.249 plus 20 minus 10 over 25 minus 10. Multiplied by 11.12 minus 8.249. And this gives us a value of 10.163. So therefore our displacement is equal to 500 times 10 to the power 3. Divided by 100 times 10 times 10 to the power 3. So I'm converting everything to newtons and millimeters times IPH which has no dimension 10.163 so therefore our displacement is 5.1 millimeters so now we need to find the rotation of the pile so theta is equal to H over ES L squared multiplied by I theta H plus 
M on ES L cubed I theta M and again because there's no external moment applied we don't have to worry about this second term so similarly for I theta H we're going to need to interpolate between this value and this value so I theta H is equal to 52.42 plus 20 minus 10 divided by 25 minus 10 multiplied by 70.47 minus 52.42 by linear interpolation this works out to be 64.453 so therefore theta is equal to 500 times 10 to the power 3 divided by 100 times 10 squared times 10 to the power 6 multiplied by 64.453 this works out to be 3.223 times 10 to the power negative 3 in radians which equals to 0 0.185 degrees and that concludes this series on pile foundations I hope you found these video videos to be very useful. Thanks for watching, guys.